When it comes to Vivian Vance, it's usually I Love Lucy, arguably the greatest classic TV sitcom in television history. Vivian Vance was born Vivian Roberta Jones on July 26, 1909, in Cherryvale, Kansas. She was raised by her parents, Robert and Euphemia Jones. Vivian Roberta Jones had a brother and four sisters. Her family moved to Independence, Kansas, and later studied drama under Anna Engelman and William Inga. Their next move, to Albuquerque, New Mexico, brought her to that city's little theater, which provided her the money she needed to study under Eva Legallian in New York. When Vivian was six years old her family moved to Independence, Kansas. Vivian attended Independence High School where she started taking drama lessons and eventually fell in love with acting. Her mother was against her dream of becoming an actress, but Vivian was determined so she rebelled against her mother. She then changed her surname to Vance and tried to find ways to support her dream. She often sneaked out of her room and stayed out late. Vivian moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico, to work as an actress. Vivian Vance studied drama at Independence High School, where future playwright William Engel was her classmate. Vivian changed her last name to Vance and moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico to work as an actress. Her work in the community theater there paid the way for her travel to New York for study. In 1930, she appeared in her first show, which was held at the Albuquerque Little Theater. Thereafter, she appeared in various plays, such as this thing called Love and the Cradle Song. Her performances in the shows were appreciated by the local theater community. The members of the community sent her to New York in order to study under actress Eva Legallienne. Vivian was involved in many relationships and married four times. In 1928, she married Joseph Danek Jr. and divorced him three years later. In 1933, she got married to George Koch, but divorced him in 1940. Her marriage with her third husband, Philip Ober, lasted from 1941 to 1959. On January 16, 1961, she married a publisher named John Dodds. She lived with him in Connecticut, where she was diagnosed with cancer. The couple moved to California in 1974. Vivian started her career as a theater actress and delivered one of her most notable stage performances while playing Nancy Collister in the musical Let's Face It. She performed in the play on more than 500 occasions, alongside popular actors like Eve Arden and Danny Kaye. She made her film debut in 1933 with Take a Chance but her role remained uncredited. In 1945, while starring in a touring company of Voice of the Turtle she had a nervous breakdown. After undergoing psychotherapy and limited movie work, she returned to the play at the La Jolla, California, Playhouse, where she was seen by Desi Arnaz who decided she was perfect for the role of Ethel Mertz. Ball and Arnott's first choice, B. Benaderet, was unavailable, in the I Love Lucy, 1951 television series. She then appeared in The Secret Fury before she got her breakthrough role in I Love Lucy. Vivian then played another memorable role when she portrayed Vivian Bagley in The Lucy Show. Vance continued to appear in various TV shows that featured her character from I Love Lucy. She played the fictional character Vivian for one last time when she appeared in a TV special titled Lucy Calls the President. She made her final television appearance in the show Sam in 1978. During her final few years, Vivian struggled with health issues. She was diagnosed with bone cancer before suffering a stroke, which left her partially paralyzed. In 1977, Vivian suffered a stroke, which left her partially paralyzed. Vivian's health deteriorated during her final few years. On August 17, 1979, Vivian died of bone cancer. She was posthumously honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame awards and achievements. In 1953, Vivian became the first actress to win an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress. She won the prestigious award for portraying the role of Ethel Mertz in I Love Lucy. She received three more Emmy nominations in 1954, 1956, and 1957 for the same role. Vivian was posthumously honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame.